Hesmen killings. Only security agencies can address your situation in the governor of Guanyin Belt's distressed communities. A lot of viewers welcome to my noble channel. Governor Ifanyu Guanyin of Inugu State has reportedly told surviving leaders of four autumn communities in Enham officials or local government area of the state that there was nothing more he can do to stop his recent attack by flying hands men and Agala, people of Benue State on the community. Responding to the request of the people, the governor reportedly told the people that I don't know what to do again if the security agencies cannot arrest the situation. An insider in the meeting told our reporters on Tuesday. Can hear that. He doesn't know what to do again. He doesn't know what to do to protect a land he governs. This is a man you call a governor. All he knows how to do is take bribe and follow wiki, bomb up the bomb to different places in the name of G5 meeting. It's a shame. He doesn't know how to protect his land, how to protect his territory. He allowed Fulani terrorists to continue to massacre innocent Tenubu youth for no reason. And he is relying in useless soldiers who have been the ones bringing them in. I could remember why Mas Nandikalo was here. All this nonsense were not happening. Fulani don't have goals because everything they are doing today is politically manipulated. If you don't know it now, politicians have been the ones doing all those things from the northern part of the country. They have been the one that created flood terrorists to use them to grab land of indigenous people because of their resources, literally, and all of them. Some of you don't know this. Let's go on and read. According to Sarah Reporter, he said that the vicious war wage on the community of Aquaman, Mbuji Ebo, and Umujugu since January 5, 2021, left over 157 people killed with thousands of people sacked from over 40 villages and farms. Settlements and forced to become internally displaced prey persons in various communities in Ebony State and Enugu State, capital, Syria. You can hear that. They have displaced a lot of people in various communities, especially in Ebony State and Enugu State. All of them ran away and left their land because of both the Boeing State Governor and both the Enugu State Governor are criminal from pit of hell. They are cowards that I've never seen in my life. Some of them are doing it knowingly. Why some of them are cowards? How can a governor tell me that he cannot be able to protect his territory? A man who calls himself a governor. If he can't, let me tell him what to do. Any respectable governor who respects his people and ready to protect his people will go to every land to do that. You don't need to look at Buhari's faces. Why Buhari are killing your people, recruiting terrorists to go after your people to grab their land? He was not looking at people's faces. As a governor, you have the immunity to protect your land, your territory. All you need to do is to call a press conference. Mr. Guanyi, let me tell you, I'm trying to advise you right now. Call a press conference. Tell the press the world that you no longer need soldiers in your land. They should leave. Tell them that you don't longer need them in your land. They should leave. And some of them should go back to the barracks. Then use vigilante group. Arm them from teeth. Tell them to comb the whole forest. Shoot any motherfucker see in the forest who is carrying a K-47. This is what a real governor should do. When Buhari has been killing our people, he was not asking questions. He was looking at people's faces. Nobody look at your face this time around. But because governors who have an evil land are criminal from pit of hell, who are only looking for money into their pocket, they can never protect their territory. They prefer to allow their people to be killed and fly enhancement take over the land. For them, if you get too much, too much, too much, they will fly out of the country, go and stay in America or in London. Because this is what the American government wants and the British government wants. To take over her land. Let's read on. A security source told her reporter that Governor Wang had told Eha and Mufi people to sort themselves out during the last emergency emergency security meeting 
with leaders of the war-torn communities and the head of security agencies in the state saying, I don't know what is to do in a harmful crisis. You can see. He doesn't know what to do. Including the soldiers. They are claiming they don't know what to do. They are telling these people that they should fight their fight. That's what I'm talking about. Know that the Ibos in Enugu state and the neighboring brothers cannot help them to fight this fight. What we are saying is that the, if you want them to fight their fight, that means he had to call a press conference to Buanyi and tell the world in press conference that he don't longer need soldiers in that land. Because they can only work freely to get rid of terrorists from their land only if the soldiers are not there because soldiers have been the one bringing the terrorists. We have to be sincere to ourselves. Is there any difference? They behave they are alike. Why soldiers go around burning people's houses? The terrorists go around burning people's houses. They are brothers, they are kinsmen are the ones doing this. And they are collaborating with them. Let's read on. The source added, if the chief security officer of the state says he doesn't know what to do, who again in the state will address the killing and constant attack in communities in Ehamuf? Sahara reporters have reported on December 20, 2022 that Governor Obani summoned another security meeting over the massacre going on in the community in Ehamuf in since October. It had reported that no fewer than 54 people, including head of local security, and had been killed since December 8, 2022, to date, in Ebo and Omujov communities alone. Security agencies led by soldiers of the Nigerian army were said to have told the communities during the Sunday, December 18th attack that their security agencies can't fight their war. You can see. Them, the security agencies cannot fight them war. But when it comes in killing innocent freedom fighters, they will have the power. When you come to going after IPB members or Eastern Security Network, who we, we created to protect our land, they will be showing muscle. Isn't this not obvious that they are the ones adding the flight terrorists to take over our land? Ah, Mazenam De a great man, indeed. God will help you. I will come out. Why he was here? Fulani henchmen, terrorist killers. We are so afraid to the extent they be in their trousers. They be in their trousers to the extent the idiot come here was crying. But today you can see they have taken over the whole land because he's no longer here. This is why he was kidnapped. One of the things why he was kidnapped. If you don't know now, know it. And this is why I'm, I'm against some people. I'm angry with some people. You have the war. You have the men who claim that they can fight war. Who are going around killing our mother? Why can't they go inside that forest and fish all those flying terrorists out? Kill them all. Look, I'm not telling you to go and kill innocent flannies. Look, they will have innocent flannies who are doing their businesses everywhere in Ibo land. They are respectable people and they should be respected. I'm talking about those of them killing our people in the bushes. In Enugu state, in Ebo state. And by the time, as, as, as at it, if any governor cough, go after him and get rid of him. This is what we're talking about. If people think they can bring war to people who does not want their war, then why should we stand aside and watch? But Mali could not stand aside. So why should we? Enough of all this whole nonsense. Let's go on and read. Between January 5, 2021 and November 2022, 120 people, including women and children, has been confirmed killed in communities Akwamende, Mbuje Ebo, and Ugujo in Ehamuf community. Governor Ifan Ugwanyi repeatedly summoned emergency security meetings involving all the head of security agencies in the state, but nothing happened after the meeting as things continued to as a bet. However, during the penultimate Tuesday emergency security meeting held at the Lion Building of Enugu Government House, the people of Ehamufu were reported to have told Governor Gwani that they need an end to the killing and attack urgently. One of the leaders of the community was said to have told Governor Gwani that we don't want your 10 million naira 
after every attack. 10 million naira cannot bring back the life of our resident. Massacre, 10 million naira cannot restore the destruction done in Ema, in Eha, Amufu, and the psychological trauma the people are going through. We want action and a stop to the vicious attack on the communities. Now thousands of people have been denied access to their farm to harvest their crops. You can see. He gives them 10 million at any time that they were massacred. Shame. What is shame? All these men who they shame. All these no good people, they know they shame. All of that. Eh? They know they shame. You see them every day, they around, make noise. How can a governor who calls himself a governor? He paying 10 million naira every time flani who are strangers to, to a place they come to our land they kill people you pay 10 million the next time they come again who is giving 10 million that you're paying so now me is giving 10 million and president Buhari is giving 10 million to pay to the people that his kinsmen have continued to massacre we have had this question several times have you ever seen we are the soldiers arrested flani terrorists since they are in Ibo land the answer is no have you ever seen them Catch any flying trolls. The answer is no. But you will see them every day going around telling you how we are Eastern Security Network will lead the uh, half camp. Where they do this, where they did this, where they did that. Is this not to say that these people are collaborating with these terrorists to take over our land? And our governors, who call themselves governors, are there watching. Let's read on. Thanks, Shatter. Responding to the request of the people, the governor said to have told the people that I don't know what else to do again. If the security agencies cannot arrest the situation, an insider in the meeting told her reporter on Tuesday. The meeting was attended by Chairman Isuzo, local government council, commissioner for commerce and industry, and other top government officials from Eha and Mufu. Others in attendance are the bishop representing members of the clergy from Eha and Mufu and all nominated leaders from various communities in Eha and Mufu. You can see, even Bishop went for the meeting. Why are they not telling this governor, who calls himself Buhari, to call a press conference and told Buhari government to take their useless soldiers in Enugu out from Enugu state so that the people will form a vigilante that will protect their land. But they will not do that. Because Ibo man is selfish and self-centered. Self 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 yes. Can hear me well. when it comes to destroying their brother they will do so but go after the enemies they will not sometimes some of us if we talk some useless people come here talking about a uh, 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 threat where well, they are the threaters we talk things the way it is we are practical we don't believe in theory we say things the way it is Ogwani, I am advising you today. As a non-state actor, to call a press conference, ask the soldiers in your land to vacate. They should go back to barracks, and they will be monitored. Then create a vigilante, all possible. Use ES. They are already respected vigilante we have in our land. Use them. If there is any reason to create more, tell those who created them to create more. Arm them from tit tit tat. Send them into the forest. Massacre anything with AK-47. This should be the mission. And believe me, you will see how these planetaries will be running like children. They have no liver. The only liver they have got is that in their holding. I have done something with them several. They had no liver. Do the NIFO and believe me, everything will be alright. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay Biafra.